Well, hello everybody, and uh, welcome to another video. Last week I took a photograph, a single image, and I was so fixated with getting that one image that I got tunnel vision and bypassed all of this beautiful light in the woods. Well, I've come back to follow my curiosity and see if we can make an image in this glorious golden woodland. So the thing that got my attention uh, when rushing through the woods in order to get to my location to shoot last week's image, the thing that got my attention was the golden brown bracken in the woods that was being backlit by the setting sun. Add to that this pine wood, essentially it's like a plantation woodland, so all the trees, they're just incredibly uniformed, which I actually like. Um, I'm quite the fan of these plantation woodlands in the right conditions. And with these golden ferns and the setting sun, I just felt, I felt like there was images to be made here. So my one concern with this is what's called parallax shift. When you shoot a panoramic um, and you don't use a nodal rail, you can get what's known as a parallax shift. The easiest way to understand what a parallax shift is, is put your fingers in line with one another and close one eye and then open the other eye. And you'll see your fingers move. Well, that's essentially what happens as you swing your lens around to make a pano, you're essentially switching eyes. That's never, ever, ever been a problem for me, but it might be a problem here because we are very close to these trees. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to get that shot. It was a massive rush. I had no idea that the sun was tracking so quickly. So a panoramic backlit golden bracken, plantation woodland, yeah, that I was attracted to. I, uh, I, I never come out with the intention of rushing. I hate rushing with my photography. I always want it to be nice and slow and steady and contemplate the scene. But I, I don't know what it is. I always get this urgency when I start framing up compositions and that panel that you've just seen um, was a classic example. Anyway, whilst uh, shooting the panel, I noticed that there was another possible composition that requires the long lens. And it's actually down there in the woodland. And all I'm gonna do Let's pop on the long lens and uh, spin my camera around and have a look. I think we need to get... Whoa! <laughs> we need to remember to tighten our tripod head. I hate it when that happens. Heart attack. Every time heart attack. Right, we need to move forward. Oh, oh we've got cloud coming in. This, uh, <laughs> this could be a very premature end to the video. Oh yes, the light's going back, here we go. I tell you, I could do with a longer lens. I know you can get a teleconverter for for these Fujis. I feel like the light's not as good as it was. The light is not as good as it was. That's a shame. That is a shame. Right, let me show you what I'm shooting. So when I was shooting my panel before, I was looking down into these woods over here and I could see the sunlight was dappled evenly across the floor, highlighting all of the golden bracken. Nice distribution of trees. Again, these plantation woodlands do offer up some great photography opportunities. And there was a definite shot there, but in the time that I took the panel, turned my camera around, switched lenses, the sun has tracked around, and now instead of dappled light, we just have a shaft. And that happened in about 10 minutes. So I set my aperture to f11, focused on the near tree, and took the shot. Um, yeah, I'll pop it on screen, but I think what's important now is I kind of, I need to follow the light. This bit of woodland that I'm in now, as you can see, there's no light. So I'm gonna move around and see if we can find something else. managed to walk well and truly out of the sunlight. Uh, so I was just about to turn back and uh, head back down the hill, hopefully into sunlight. 
And in spite of the composition now, I have very little confidence in this composition, but I thought, hey-ho, let's press record on the camera. It's a beautiful evening. I didn't think it would be so frantic. I did not think it would be so frantic. You'd think, you would think that because it's a fairly sunny afternoon, that uh, it wouldn't be frantic and we could take our time because it's not very changeable. But when you're in the woods, it's very changeable because as I mentioned before, that sunlight is tracking through the sky very quickly at this time of year. And obviously that interacts with all of the trees and the shadows and, you know, very changeable. Right, let's have a look here, let's have a look. Don't worry, I'll, uh, I'll let you in on what I'm trying to shoot. So I've got my 100 to 200 millimeter lens on. I'm just focusing on some tall grass, this golden grass. And when I walk past it, it just looked like it might work as an image with the, with the golden grass and then these dark trees in the background. So the forest is quite thick here, so there's not much light penetrating. So we're not gonna get any unpleasant highlights or anything like that. It's quite a simple shot. Right, so we're gonna open up to f5.6. And it is, it's a nice simple image, very quick one that anyone could take. It's just about noticing things or, I don't know, being responsive to anything that makes you look or think twice. ISO 100 f5.6, let's have a look at this image. Uh, I'm not massively convinced. Yeah, if it works, it works. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a micro light aircraft overhead, which is pretty cool. What a lovely afternoon. Well, it'll be evening soon. So it is now officially dark. <laughs> I had no idea that, the, uh, that I would be chasing the sun so much on this evening slash afternoon shoot. It moves so quick in the sky at this time of year, especially in the woodland. Man, it's so dynamic and I've been running around like a madman. Uh, but it's been fun, it's been fun, but admittedly, between me and you, it's not been the best video. It doesn't feel like it's been a good video. I don't feel like I've got any good images. So you might ask the question, why am I bothering putting this video out there, why would I upload it? Well, I think there is a decent message, a bit of a takeaway from this video. I already mentioned that last week when I came here to shoot last week's video, I bypassed all of the light coming through the trees and the backlit golden bracken. So I was curious. I was curious if I was able to use that potential and make some images. So that's why I'm here now making this video. And that's what I would, that's what my message would be. It would be let your curiosity lead your photography. Very rarely, do I plan a photo shoot? Last week's video was the exception. Normally, I have very, very loose plans, check the weather, get a rough area to explore, and I go out and I see what I see, and I hope that something grabs my attention, something inspires me to shoot, or that I recognize some potential and work it into an image. Um, that is a fantastic way to shoot, it really is. So I'd, that would be my advice to anybody watching this video, is let your curiosity lead your photography and don't be afraid of experimenting and don't be afraid of coming away empty-handed. It's, um, you actually might be surprised how much you start to see when you stop looking. So yeah, there we go. That's, that's how we're gonna end this video. Um, and thank you to anyone who's sort of stuck <laughs> all the way through this. Massive, massive thank you. So I'm gonna go before the light completely fades altogether. And I will see you next time. Now I've got to walk several miles to the camera to turn it on. Yeah, there we go.